CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. Good morning. I am uh, near Tucson, Arizona, up toward Mount Lemmon. We're going to do uh, two summits, Gibson and uh, my, I think it's Miner's Ridge. They're pretty close to each other. Uh, short hikes. I think it'll be about a four-mile round trip to Gibson, and then we'll do a mile round hike, maybe a little bit more, two miles up to Miner's Ridge. Um, and uh, then, yeah, we'll uh, get two done today. So I'm looking forward to that. The other one, it's actually, I'm looking at my GPS here. It's not my, it's, it's Prison Camp Ridge. Sorry about that. So yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, should be a good hike. It's a beautiful day. About 45 degrees here at the, camp, uh, at the trailhead. That's what it feels like. And uh, yeah, should be good. Looking forward to it. Let's get cracking. Okay. We're at the Gordon Hirabashi Trailhead. We're going to be heading up this way to uh, our first summit. Pretty morning this morning. Uh, but a wee bit chilly. I'm glad I brought some gloves and a beanie. Maybe a little chilly on top. Going to be a beautiful day. Forecast oh, about 45 to 50 for the summit. So Bought to you by Sotamate.com, S-O-T-A-M-A-T.com. I use their uh, two-way messages to ask for a weather report, which uh, I'll put right here. That's what it looks like. I pulled up the hourly um, by using this command, and it gives you the summit forecast based on elevation and terrain and all that stuff. So pretty cool. Um, definitely wanted to get this done today because uh, there's rain coming in tomorrow. So uh, zero per chance of precipitation while I'm up here. So yeah, it's going to be a nice, nice one, I think. going to be steep though. <clears throat> in the mountains around here you'll see these signs um, Arizona has a nice uh, hiking trail system up around here in these mountains uh, around the around the city it's very pretty um, yeah and I'm guessing high traffic there's some other hikers here behind me Part of the trail goes to this uh, riverbed here. <laughs> Probably not somewhere you want to be after big rain. Oh, some dogs coming up. I'm at the split here um, in the trail, so I'm following the uh, magenta line. And uh, yeah, so far a beautiful day. I think we're gonna have a little bit of uh, elevation gain here. I'll be taking off my fleece here really soon. Starting to warm up. It's probably 50. Stow these gloves as well. All right. It's already time to get the fleece off. Um, so for planning, went on to uh, soda, Sotless or Soda Maps. Uh, found the summits I wanted to do, looked at how many times it's been activated um, by other ham operators. It had been quite a few. That means they're probably pretty good access. Then went to Guy GPS, looked at the trail system, plotted a course, as you can see here, and then um, also reached out to the Arizona Soda mailing list and just asked for some local knowledge. So that's a good way to kind of prep yourself, understand what the weather whether it's going to have snow up here in advance um, and any other comments. So that's what I did. As you can see, it's uh, definitely warming up. So I'm already out of my fleece. And uh, so that's one layer I really didn't need to bring because I have a fleece in the pack. I also have a puffy jacket and a shell. If I put all the three of those things on, I'd, I'd be uh, good to go for... Some pretty cold weather. Wouldn't be fun tonight, but um, anyway, 
I also have my GPS unit turned on here, my uh, Garmin, and uh, I'm able to send messages to some other folks. Where is that thing? It slides back here. And it's good to have it with uh, sky access. Sent out a couple SMS messages to some friends. One of them is Dale, AA70Y. He doesn't always carry a, an HT, but I figured if he did, I should have told him last night, but if he did, I uh, we can coordinate via the EAARS repeater system. I'm in Tucson, but he's up in Alpine, Arizona. But uh, this network of repeaters goes uh, around the state over to Sierra Vista, up through New Mexico, and then ends over in a repeater uh, on South Mountain near Alpine, Arizona, which has incredible coverage of Arizona and New Mexico. So, yeah. Oh, what a beautiful day. Here's our trail. No problemo following this guy. Um, and I believe that's our summit. Must be, I'll see on the other side of these ones, I believe, or it's right there. So we're three inches away. <laughs> on Gaia GPS. So, and we're at 4,000 feet, 4,900. And um, we need to climb up to um, 5,700. So we got about another 800 feet of climbing and uh, a couple miles to go. We'll get her done. I know there is a charted uh, trail up here. It's more of a use trail. And uh, I'm right under this first uh, peak here. So it's good to have a little GPS unit in case you stray off of it. Um, it's pretty well used, but I've been tempted in places to pull off. So anyway, let's get cracking. I like these guys idea for a trail it's basically straight up gotta love it okay we've reached um, the halfway mark here probably and we can see our summit now uh, it's off to the left of this uh, thing right in front of us I believe so we got to go up and over this little uh, pass here between these two bumps and then uh, flip around over to the left so uh, yeah pretty day um, High clouds moving in, probably in prep four. A little bit of rain tomorrow. So, anyway, let's get cracking so we can get two in today. Um, got these along the way as well, these little Karens. Not your internet Karen. This kind of Karen, people. Kind of comfort knowing that, yes, you are on the trail. Not a, not a game trail going to nowhere. So, wind's picking up. Uh, five to ten knots right now so hopefully with the dead cat on the uh, mic here it's not too bad you hear where this little diamond is and uh, we're gonna hit this little uh, do a little scram bouldering here just scrambling to get up over this little ridge here all right, this is the way that arrow is pointing right now on the map. Okay, to the left of that is our summit. Um, our approach is actually up here. We're gonna go up this ridge here to this ridge and then go over this to the left down a little bit there and then uh, looks like a little bit of fun getting up there. Um, but it looks like there's a trail just to the left of the, the peak so we're not gonna climb up that ridge. Um, because that's kind of gnarly. <laughs> um, and we don't have to, so. You can see the cityscape down there. I'm only about five miles from my brother's house uh, as the crow flies, maybe six at the most. Um, 
but you can see the you can see Tucson down there in Davis Month, and of course, sticks out like a sore thumb. It's a massive uh, facility. So there you have it. Um, let's get cracking here. Uh, this really is a used trail, so. Uh, I'm not the ham navigator. I'm not the nav, the the ninja navigator, uh, navigation ninja. <laughs> so, I I've uh, been needing some GPS help to get me back on track. Uh, so that's been fun. Um, but yeah, now that we know, if I lose the track, it doesn't make any difference now because I know basically what I need to do. It's pretty pretty straightforward, and. Also from here, I've gotten some landmarks, how to get me back to the car in case I get out here and get all screwed up, I'll break my phone. So that's important. Got to make it back for dinner. As it turns out, looking closer at the map, you do go right up the, the dragon's back here. Final push right here. Should put us in the AZ. Um, it may not be the final summit, but um, it's not, as long as it's not 82 feet below, that's not the final summit. But uh, once I get in this chute another 50 feet and I'll be in the AZ, but we'll head over to the pin and check it out. I believe that's our summit. Uh, so, I'm not going straight up that thing, but I'm going right over here. There's a nice safe trail just to the left, and that'll put me around to the other side of that. And if this, actually, it might be on the other side over here. Let's go take a look. Check out this view. And pretty much straight down here. <laughs> so, uh, not a steep off to the left. But uh, yeah, we're just about there. All right, there's an actual, our actual summit. Um, we have to first go down this little uh, saddle here. I'm standing up at the high point, but we got some great views this morning. Uh, high clouds moving in. There's a uh, Mount Lemon, got some snow on it. So yeah, we're just about there. We're gonna cruise across this really quick. And, uh, Get cracking here. Taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. Uh, there's some oddball terrain in here. I wasn't expecting to do have to do any scram bouldering. Um, I brought gloves in case of that, but I left them at the cars. Just some cheap work gloves are good for that. You don't need to spend hundred dollars at REI. Oh my God! <laughs> Crikey! So. Um, yeah, as you know, I had some gloves on this morning, but, uh, I put those in my pocket and, uh, now they're gone. That was brilliant. I didn't put them in a dug on cargo because I didn't think I needed to. So hopefully I find those on the way back. I think I know where they might be, but they just kind of worked their way out. I hate having to give up all this elevation gain. That's the way it works out sometimes. You have to go down to go up. All right, good news is I've summited. Um, so I am right next to the pin for the designator for this. There's one more summit over there. There's a trail leading over to it, but I don't think it's a high point for sure. So this be it. Um, as you can see from like Oracle Valley practically all the way around, South Tucson Mountains there. Um, beautiful, beautiful view from up here. And then of course, around over to Mount Lemon and what have you. So yeah, some, uh, looks pretty. We're gonna set up here and uh, get on the air, see if we can't get a summit to summit with Dale.
Yeah, Roger, Roger, what's the summit ID that you are currently on? Over. Gee, uh, copy that, and uh, thanks for the contact. Uh, this is uh, Aldridge at 806 Hotel Papa X-Ray as well. Over. Okay, Kilo 6, Hotel Papa X-Ray, Ken. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Good morning. Hey, uh, good morning to you as well. Uh, uh, I'm, having to, I'm having to hold down the squelch button for some reason. Uh, uh, signals are not uh, strong enough to break the uh, squelch at this setting. So, uh, uh, 73, and thanks for the contact. K6HPX. Roger, Roger. Hey, Ken, are you on a summit right now? Over. Let's affirm. Yeah, we're right on top. Uh, what's your summit ID? Over. Well, that's uh, Kimamock Hill. It's uh, Arizona West 057. Uh, W7A slash AW057. Over. AW057. Roger that. And um, I am on. Papa Echo 019er, Papa Echo 019er, QSL. Hey, QSL, uh, thank you very much. Alrighty, thanks, Ken. I'm going to try to go to 10 meters. That finishes the first summit. We're going to jump over that next summit um, pretty much the same way we came, right back near the parking lot, and then we just keep going. So it, it's really just a Y right there. So we're going to crank on back, and uh, I'll get you um, some video once we get on that next trail. Um, should be interesting. So anyway, let's hit the road. Oh. So anyway, let's get cracking. <laughs> okay, on the way back, I noticed, you know, might be able to go around lower on this thing, but the reason why you go over the back of it is, it really just kind of comes up like the back of a dragon, straight down over here. And then you got a gentle slope over here. But uh, yeah, this is a wild one. It's, uh, it's not unsafe. It's just, uh, it means you have to climb like two mountains to get back. So, I'll go around that tippy top there. Let's get cracking. Alrighty. Um, so, if you remember the previous shot, looking across at the ridges I had to go across, here's kind of the opposite fire. I should have taken it from the top of this mountain that I had to just come over. But uh, on the way back, certainly the same way. In reverse, kind of go over this ridge here. Uh, it's interesting, these aren't quite, these aren't very wide. Reminds me of the Sierras where they look like a dragon's back. Um, this one, not too bad. But yeah, we'll go over there, then we'll cruise to the right, and then we'll jump off, and then just continue off toward the snowy peaks there. So, off we go. Okay. Down. Um, I actually went back to the almost the parking lot there. The uh, turn is right here to go up to Miner's uh, uh, Prisoner Ridge. So I'm going to head up that. I'm five miles in. Um, part of that is because, well, the use trail that I took just goes through tall grass and there's all kinds of trails up there. So I got off onto another one and Next thing I know, I'm backtracking like a quarter mile. So, anyway, we're gonna head up here. Let's see how it goes. I 
just came with the straw here. You can see the parking lot down there. Wow. This was a bit of a challenge. There's a guy sitting on the rock down there. And uh, so, yeah, come up over this and voila. Right here, kind of on a little ridge line between these two little hills. I'm 40 feet from the activation zone. Once I'm in the zone, then I can pop the radio. But uh, yeah, that was a, I'll just say it's a challenge. But it's, uh, you lose the trail and then you find it and lose the trail. And I'm not on the one that was originally charted here. As you can see on my uh, track line in red, the route in blue that I charted, um, is not the way I went. I'm gonna try to take that on the way down. It might be easier. <sighs> Dang, dude, I'm gonna have to get up through this little hole here. And then I think I'll be on that top ridge. So I'm gonna turn this off so you don't hear me cussing on the way up. <sighs> Sun's breaking out. Made it to the summit. Um, was, took some effort, man, getting up here. Um, and I'm looking over at uh, Mount Gibbons here. It's that hub point uh, out of those three in the middle. Let's see if I can zoom in here on the video without losing too much detail. Shooting with GoPro today in the media mod. And uh, um, this is probably a mile hike. And I didn't take the easy way. I think there's an easy way to get up here. I don't know. Pretty tough. We're going to try that blue line on the way down. And uh, see what we can do. But before we do that, let's get some contacts. Send some cool waves into the atmosphere. Alright, second summit's complete, sun's going down, and it's starting to get cold. I gotta get out of here. Um, had a great time, worked uh, Josh and Daryl again from the uh, from Washington Summit, so got some summit to summits, and uh, even though it was in the afternoon, that was pretty good. I was trying to work uh, Whiskey Whiskey for Delta, but uh, that guy just couldn't hear me. He's right on the edge. So anyway, we're out of here. Oh, wait a minute, how do we get out of here? <laughs> All right, I am back at the uh, parking lot here. I guess I could have driven in and parked right here. I parked outside of the camping area just because they said it's a fee area, etc. So anyway, it's only about a tenth of a mile back to the vehicle from here. Uh, I got 16 contacts up on Prisoner Ridge. Um, that was fun. It was, it was a challenge to try to figure out how to get up there. Um, and a challenge to get down too. I, I tried to take the blue line on this chart right here, didn't see it, but obviously I made it back down. There's, there's multiple ways. There is, I did follow a, a trail up and then kind of caught it here and there and then took off from there. Um, let's see, 41 contacts over on Mount Gibbons. That was a lot of fun. Um, huge pile ups there. Of course, I did it in the morning, so you're gonna get more contacts in the morning. And um, I was gonna stay here and try to get some more on 40 and stuff, but it's getting dark and I really didn't wanna be heading down the mountain under dark. And it's really just the clouds because it's, I think it's only three o'clock here. But um, yeah, big day. Uh, that was a mile and a half to get up to Prisoner Ridge and back. So it's a short hike, it's straight up. Um, five miles to get over to Gibbons and back. That wasn't bad. Um, certainly difficult at the top. But um, 
it was a it was a good hike it was a cool day and uh, yeah so mission accomplished two summits here just outside of Tucson Arizona um, I think I got six summit to summits. I got Josh and Daryl twice, and I'm wondering if they changed summits. They probably did hit two, uh, similar to what I did. So, if you want to know more about this hobby, try hitting hemninja.com slash SOTA360. It's a four-part series on planning and how to do it and how to chase, how to activate, and all that good stuff. Um, also, hamninja.com. Uh, there's some good resources out there too. So with that, I'm going to say 73 and let's roll the credits. Thanks guys.